in months. He hasn't felt himself in months. And now, with AJ Francis by his side, he feels himself again. That tells me all I need to know. Meanwhile, across the ring, ABC coming together for the first time in a little bit after a couple of uh, singles outings that didn't quite go their way. And Chris Bay and Ace Austin both had their shots at Frankie Kazarian. Chris Bay recently on impact. Frankie Kazarian has been able to escape with wins on his way towards rebellion and full metal mayhem against Eric Young. Ace Austin hasn't been too pleased, is worried that Chris Bay was trying to strike out a little bit too much on his own, first with the Rebellion referendum, Whoa. and then again in that match with Kazarian. So Maybe they're better as a team. Listen, there's nothing wrong with individual pursuits. Whoa. The Motor City Machine Guns did that last year. Shelly winning the TNA World title, Chris Sabin winning the X Division Championship, so it's not unprecedented, but I understand Austin and Bay, they have a good thing going. Two-time TNA World Tag Team Champions, but right now, AJ Francis is the one uh, in control. To that point, where is that goal? They have, it has Tag. been a minute since they had it, courtesy of the system, of course. Oh, Ooh. look at the teamwork here between Francis and Swan. You know, we've talked about it before with different teams, how quickly they can gel and build that chemistry. Swan oh. and Francis coming out of the gates hot. I like it. And Rich Swan looking very aggressive here early on against Ace Austin. Talking some trash to Chris Bay and a big right hand there to Ace Austin. Now Austin, oh, off the ropes, takes out the footing and a kick between the shoulder blades there. Dives into the corner and a tag made. In comes Chris Bay. ABC cooking here. Oregon in tandem. Double drop kick right to the face. Bay cover kick out by Swan. You know, Francis and Swan. I mean, the way I took it, they approached Chris Bay and kind of seemed to maybe just a little bit extended a similar offer that AJ extended to Rich. And they extended that a little bit to Chris Bay, who rebuffed them, of course. But. Chris Bay should think oh, about it too. Come on, give I me a break. Look how it's working out for Rich Swan. Like you're, I said. You're just telling me because Chris Bay and Ace Austin just lost the tag team titles to the system at Sacrifice that they should abandon ship after and two TNA World Tag Team title reigns. And those singles losses to uh, Bray. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Francis Look out. grabbing the dreadlocks there behind the referee's back. Austin goes after Francis. Francis still standing. Whoa. Oh, look out. Now the ABC, whoa! Tried oh. to use Bay as a weapon there. Got Francis in the jaw. Now Swan, oh! Throw right to the top rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ooh! Oh, now Bay trying to fend off Swan. Francis there attacking from behind. First class has taken over against the ABC. This match continues picture in picture. AJ Francis oh. has been a difference maker in this match as Rex Swan unloading on Ace Austin in this tag team contest. And what do you think of the uh, early showing here from first class? I think you know my answer. I told you, Swan came into this oh. one looking like more of himself, feeling Dang. like more of himself than I've seen him in months. And the chemistry between Francis and Swan has been there, it has been tops. I think they got something special here in first class. The official backing off AJ Francis. I think ultimately this is a lot of the poisoning of the mind of Rick Swan by AJ Francis. You, you, you say that, the poisoning, the poisoning of the mind. All the guy did was hype up his Hype up his man. Hype up with somebody he saw a lot of potential in. That's literally it. I, I think literally it. Ultimately, AJ Francis is a leech and a vulture. He saw a former TNA world champion in Rich Swan vulnerable. Yes, losing matches on a losing streak. Some of those losses caused by AJ Francis, by what, the way. What, what does AJ Francis get by hyping up Rich Swan and telling him, hey man, I think you could do better? He has a chance to have more success in the ring thanks to Rich Swan. Nonetheless, Swan likes what Francis is selling. Swan makes the tag, he's legal against Austin. Hey man, that's the argument you can make for virtually any tech. 
at one once upon a time, Chris Bay, Ace Austin, two singles wrestlers who didn't have a lot of team experience with each other. They saw the mutually beneficial relationship of teaming up and it led to success. Yeah, but it wasn't a manipulative start to that relationship, was it? Oh, you're right, that's right. You should Chris, really talk to a therapist. Chris Bay didn't hype up oh. Ace Austin as well as AJ Francis does to Rich Swan. Man, you use hype up versus hype up. manipulation so easily mm. in your lexicon. Your mental gymnastics, Tom. You must be Tag. flexible. <laughs> Inc into the ring comes AJ Francis after uh, no one, uh, oh. Nether Regions first into the middle rope there moments ago. I hey, weep for Nether him. Regions of Steel. Never forget it. Oh, now Francis, listen, I, I understand uh, what AJ Francis is like as a person, as an athlete inside the ring. This is a 300-pounder, played defensive line in the National Football League for quite some time. He can really inflict a lot of damage. Look at this, low center of gravity there, using that defensive line background, driving his shoulder right into the midsection. Uses all that more, oh. makes mogul moves too. Off the rope, Swan. Oh, oh right over the splash. Got him yeah. in the hip. Cover and a kick out by Ace Austin. And so far in this matchup, this new team of Swan and Francis has taken charge of this matchup in a big, big way. And now AJ Francis stomping Ace Austin in this tag team matchup here on Impact. Cover right. and a kick out. It's the team of first class, AJ Francis and Rick Swan up against the ABC, Ace Austin and Chris Bay. And Francis and Swan have been doing a first class job oh. of putting the hurt on Ace Austin. And if, if I'm the ABC, I, I'm a little oh. bit worried. They, I feel like they need this win. I feel like first class need this win in their and their first match as a team. Uh, for sure. But we, again, we talked about it before the break. Austin oh. and Bay have not been on the winningest of streaks, whether it's individually or as a team. Reaching out, was trying to make a tag. Austin got a piece of Swan there in the corner, trying to prevent a tag between Francis and Swan. Oh. And a Bulldog out of the corner. That's why the ABC are two-time TNA World Tag Team Champions. Ace Austin able to fell the Redwood. That is AJ Francis. Is it enough to get the tag here, though? And in the corner, tag May. Now it's Chris Bay to meet Rick Swan. Lighting him up in the center of the ring is Chris Bay. Oh, two of the best and brightest TNA has to offer. Chris Bay looking like a house oh. of fire across the ring. From the second rope, oh, wants to take down Rick Swan. Uh oh, spine buster yeah. by Bay. Is it enough? Hook to the leg here. Oh, and it's broken up with authority by Francis. Francis, got a couple choice words for Bay as well. In comes Austin back into the fray. Oh, trying to chop down the larger man. Uh oh, look up on the Look how easy Francis made that look. The power. A rock there by Bay. Oh, hold on a second. Look at this. AJ Francis has a hold of both Austin and Bay. Uh, it's the world's strongest wasteland. A two for one special, courtesy of the big man of first class. And a tag made, Francis is now officially legal. And now, we're gonna make a statement on Chris. Oh. We're gonna make a sta statement against Chris Bay. Lining him up here. Oh, there's the knee strike. He calls Tennessee whiskey. Oh, huh? It's my show. T Smooth and AJ sweet. Francis. But it'll knock you out. Look out. Oh, out of the corner. Was thinking about the 450. Swan wanted to end this thing. Hold on, sunset flip, looking for a cover. Bay into the corner, tag mate. Austin Ooh. and Bay tee off on Swan. There was a collision, and now the double team is in. Look out! Oh, the kick and the neck breaker. Austin is legal. Francis trying to run interference. Francis making the save for Rich Swan here, and now looking for another 
Double duty suplex here. Oh, look at the power. Down goes Bay. Austin able to escape. Austin midair there, able to turn things around. Bay tried his best. Back to their feet at least. Oh, the ABC, both of them connect with Francis. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The ABC. With their power combined, ABC gets it done. And now Bay over the top, down goes Francis. And now it's down to Ace Austin and Rich Swan in the ring. Back inside the ring, Austin's call for Bay. They want the one, two sweet on Swan. Looking for the setup here. Looking for the wall. No! Oh, he wanted the art of finesse. Him with a neck breaker by Swan. Francis slows up Boston. Look out, look out. A guys. handful of tights. First class beats the ABC. Joe Hendry is here! Rich Swan, two weeks ago, I wanted to give you the opportunity to explain why you aligned with A.J. Francis. But instead, you came out here and you said something to the effect of this. In West Philadelphia, Born and raised in the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out max and relaxing all cool. I was shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started causing trouble in my neighborhood. I had a fight with Joe Hendry and the world stood still. So now I've teamed up with Fat Uncle Phil. <laughs> I know you both have a busy schedule of discussing thick thighs, but let me add one more thing to the schedule. Cause I talked to Santino and Rich Swan at Rebellion. It's gonna be you one on one with Joe Hendry. Hendry. Palms in Las Vegas at Rebellion.